Hi everyone, it's Carnage6 again, and I'm back with my Dragon Ball Collection update for June. Okay, now first off, I've got the two uh, Banpresto riding scene figures. I've been looking for these for a long time. As you can see, it's Bulma and Goku riding uh, dragons. Um, they also made uh, Goku and a Gohan riding stomp cycles too, which I have both of those, but I've been looking for these forever. They're hard to find at a decent price. So when I finally got a decent price, I jumped at the chance. Anyway, they're pretty neat. You can see how uh, detailed they are. These ones I'm not going to take out of the box right now, so I'm just going to see if you can, uh, you know, see the detail inside the box there. Yeah, they're pretty neat. Okay, next up we have a vintage uh, Bandai figure from 1986 from the original Dragon Ball series. As you can see, it's Bulma in her uh, bunny outfit. Now, this is kind of like a model kit that's sort of a figure. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to open it yet and put it together. Um, so maybe you can help me decide. Okay, so um, I'm going to open the box anyway and show you what it looks like inside. As you can see, it's brand new, never been opened. This is why I'm unsure if I should uh, take it and put it together. What do you think? I think it will look pretty cool, but I don't know if I want to ruin the collectability of it. Another thing I got this uh, month was the uh, this old uh, vintage Dragon Ball LCD electronic game from Bandai from 1989. I collect these too. These are really neat. They made, I think, a game for pretty much every saga in the Dragon Ball, uh, from the Dragon Ball TV series. Um, these older ones are really hard to find and really expensive, so I was pretty happy when I got this one for under 30 bucks. That's unheard of. And it's still mint in the box. I've got others in my collection. I don't know if anyone wants to see them, but if you do, let me know. Another thing I got this uh, month, this is a Cardass uh, card distributor. It's like a little vending machine for kids. Um, I think I have the Japanese version of this one, but this one I found on eBay France. And I just, I don't know, it's just because it's French and I had to, I don't know, I just love weird Dragon Ball stuff like this. I have also a Gachapon like vending machine for little kids. I just can't resist these, I don't know why. But they're, it's interesting. I don't have hardly any cards to go with it, but, oh well, interesting nonetheless. Another thing I can't resist buying is cool bootleg figures. Now, these are just scaled up versions of the original Bandai figures, and I already have a bunch of these in my collection, but I can't resist them. They're just awesome. I don't know well how to explain it, but they're very bootleggy, uh, you know, hollow, really cheap plastic. I'm just impressed that uh, they got the colors completely right on these ones. And I happened to find these a long time ago, about 10 years ago, at a flea market. And I was regretting every day that I didn't pick up more of them. I think I only bought four. And uh, as luck would have it, I went back to that flea market 10 years later. And I found these loose ones at the same place. So as soon as I saw them, I grabbed them. And as you can see, I got a Irwin Piccolo, so you can tell the size difference. Like I said, I think they're cool. Okay, now for the rest of the video, I'm going to focus on stuff that is really high-end stuff, like expensive stuff. Now, when I say that, 
I didn't pay full price for these things. I got good deals on them and I happen to come and do a little bit of money. So this is why I splurged on them. Just so you know. Anyway, this one is a series of seven statues, I believe. One for each Dragon Ball on Dragon Ball characters. And these are like high end. They have like metal and ceramic and, you know, high quality material. These usually go for like over a hundred bucks. I got mine for way under 50. So, um, I'm not even sure who makes these things. Uh, if anyone knows, let me, you know, post in my comment section. See if I can get a little bit closer of the Goku figure. Angel Goku. Pretty cool. Okay, now this next item is something I've been looking for for a long, long time. And I was really happy to get it. Well, I was both happy and disappointed at the same time. Uh, and I'll explain that in a few minutes. Um, first off, let me show you what it looks like. As you can see, it's a gold Uzaro figure now. Why did I say that I was both happy and sad about getting this? Okay. I always wanted the original one. This is not the original version. The original version is like just normal colored. And, but it, there's only one person on eBay who has it and they want like a thousand bucks. And it, just to let you know, it is not worth a thousand bucks. So do not buy it from that guy. Anyway, they also came out with a re-release just this past year, but the face and the hand and stuff are like painted a glow-in-the-dark color, so I didn't want that. I found this one on eBay, and I have no idea if it's legitimate or not. Does anyone know? I've never heard of a gold version of this Uzaru figure, but if there is one, it's obviously really rare. Um, the only reason I say that I'm not sure if it's legit is because like some of the paint was like actually coming off of the thing when I took it out of the box, and I can't get the stand to fit in, in the bottom there. I had to use a a pencil which I'm doing right now so I don't know does anyone know anything about this I have no idea I'm hoping it's legitimate and it's really rare but um, yeah I would have preferred to have the original version but I'll take this especially if it's rarer than the original one I can always display this with my GT figures anyway here's just a close-up of his uh, face if you wanted to see it again if anyone knows what this is send me a message Next up is a figure I've been wanting for a long time, this King Cold statue, and the box is pretty bland. In fact, I don't even know who makes this thing, but uh, I finally found a good deal on it. Some people are wanting like 400 bucks for this thing. Anyway, why don't I take it out of the box and show you what it really looks like. Okay, first off, this King Cold statue is pretty damn huge. <laughs> I wasn't, from looking at the pictures, I didn't really get the impression of how huge it was, but I mean, look at it compared to the Piccolo figure, the 5-inch Piccolo figure. This thing is massive. I just love the sculpted pose on this. It's made of vinyl, I think. Um, well, let me just show you something. You can you can take him off his stand if you want, and his cape is made of real fabric. It's a nice touch and for the price. They better have done that. And here's just a close-up of his head so you can see all the detail. Nice figure, but again, I wouldn't pay 400 bucks for it. 100 bucks and less, now you're starting to talk. That's about what I paid. And finally, we have a figure that a lot of people, including me, have been waiting for. The uh, Medicom uh, Gohan, Kid Gohan. It comes with an extra head for your Piccolo figure. There's both of them together. And uh, now let's see what he looks like out of the box. Okay, and here he is out of the box. Um, um, he's an awesome figure, don't get me wrong. I'm a little bit disappointed. I mean, the clothes on mine came all wrinkled. He doesn't really have that much articulation. His head moves a little bit, his arms move, and his wrists move. That's about it. And here's a quick 360 degree view of him. And in case you were wondering, here's what the extra Piccolo head looks like on Piccolo. Pretty cool for a freebie. So anyway, here are the two of them both together. Um, the Gohan is a good figure. I'm not sure if it's worth close to 100 bucks. If you can get it for under 50, maybe then. Like I said, it's a good figure. I'm just a little bit disappointed in it. Um, anyway, that's all for my collection update. 
this month. Um, again, if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, anything you want me to show, any of your collection you want to show, post a video response. Just send me a message. Until next month, see ya.